Hey everybody, welcome to a special episode of the Dog and Bandits. It's me, Orn, and I'm joined today by Matthew. Matthew's back. Uh today we met up with Joe for the Dog and Bandits, his son Mikey, who went to Aw oh, Yeah in Harrison. Uh, it's a great comic shop. They're having 50% off all back issues. And yes, they stay until Monday if you want to go. Uh, we actually bumped into former uh, two-time guest, I believe, Franco, uh, was there. He has a new Flash Gordon project coming out on Kickstarter. Be sure to check it out. Uh, go back to that project. So uh, 50% off, which is always music to my ears. And I picked up some books. And he's going to see, he's taking over, and he's going to let you guys know what he thinks, what's cool, and what's not. So take it away. Okay. So the first one is The Punisher, number 33. Cool X-Men crossover book. Yeah. This one think? isn't in a case like the other oh, one. This is just a dollar. These are dollar yeah. books. Um, this one's pretty cool. Yeah, I used to have um oh, a I'm figure. Sure. Oh, I think it's in the closet somewhere. No, it's like a little figure yeah. that I had. Okay, so next is Thor number 409. Now, of course, I had to grab this because anything with Dr. Doom on the cover uh, is always, you know, it's going to be good. It's really cool. Isn't it? Uh-huh, because it's like, who's that guy? Hercules. Oh, yeah, it's because it's like Thor and Hercules and they're in like a time thing and if they can't get out then yeah. it looks like quicksand. And this is done by our good friend Ron Friends, uh, one of the best going business today. Next is another Punisher, number 14. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I, I'm not a huge Punisher guy, but these were a buck a piece. Um, so I figured I'd make them check them out. The uh, Kingpin one. rules. The back is very funny. Yes, it's, who remembers this old candy? Uh, this cover, I can't tell who this cover, uh, but hey, let's find out. Next is the Punisher number 13. Saying you don't like the Punisher, you have a lot of Punisher. Hey, for a dollar a piece, you know, Mark had some great deals going on today. And, uh, anxious to check these ones out. Okay, so the back is very weird, but next is Thor. Number um, this is the Thor annual. This is the Atlantis Attacks annual. This is number fourteen. Uh, another Ron Friends cover. Uh, I'm a sucker for Quasar, so not a lot of people are. I'm sure I'll be totally baffled because I won't have the get Atlantis Attacks annuals. But for a dollar, I'll check it out. Uh, next is the Punisher number thirty-one. Punisher on a bike with a beard. It's like oh, that's old Nintendo game, oh. Sky Shark. That I don't think anyone ever played. Mm. Okay. Oh, so that we skipped that one. That was pretty. Uh, okay. Yeah, the other one was a free one, which is new because I he hates new books. <laughs> I don't hate them. I'm just confused. Next is Ghost Rider number fifteen. Uh, I stocked up on some older Ghost Rider books. Uh, he was such a, a creep in these issues. He was a evil demon, but facing a guy with a giant eyeball uh, for a helmet. And it says surrender. Surrender, orb. You'll never escape me. Then here's where you become a real ghost. But He's basically a skeleton. How could he become a ghost? Well, he's a demon. Oh, okay. This is an awesome, awesome cover. Next is Ghost Rider number 34. I have to agree with this guy. It is really cool. That's a heck of a cover. Mm -hmm. Trying to see Don Perlin cover. The great Don Perlin. Next is Marvel 2 in 1 The Thing versus the Ghost Rider Death Race. It's number 80. My buddy Eddie out there. And my buddy Shane out there. I know we're all trying to get the two in ones. We're all trying to get the team ups. I spotted a couple I didn't have. Uh, the rest I did have. But uh, thing on a little some sort of crazy bike. What is this? Um, that is a rocket bike. Some sort of rocket Probably. bike. Well, we'll see what happens. Rocket will like it. Rocket would. So next is Marvel two in one. Present presents. presents the thing versus. 
debt block. Yeah. Number 27. Yeah. I'm a big debt lock man myself. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of miscommunication between you, but it also has the Fantastic Four in it. So, Eddie, Shane. So, next is Captain America, number 274. That's a very cool cover. Him and Baron Strucker duking it out. Uh, love the classic. So, next is the Haunted Tank. Cool. GI Combat. GI Combat. Number one hundred seventy. Now this is only fifty cents. Um, I'm sure I paid the full fifty cents because there's some staining up here. But uh, wait, I like that's these, staining. See this painting up here? Yeah. So that's staining. Joe Kubert art. Uh, I'm really happy getting these old war books, and for fifty cents, I'm not saying no to this. Next is. Dollar Comics, mm -hmm. um, 80 pages, all new stories, um, goal, GI Combat, GI Combat, yep. number, let me look it up, 201, sorry, 207, 207, you thought that was 201, my mistake, another really great cover, uh, these dollar books, they always, you know, most of the time they just reprints, uh, these are claiming to be new stories, but uh, this was just a buck, too. So, I mean, they, they're they really great deals at this place. The next one is very cool. Yep. So, it is Captain America number 309. I have part one to this. I never got the second part. Uh, Madcap is a character people don't talk a lot about. He's insane. Like, he, he doesn't feel pain. He's just uh, really one of the more twisted characters in the Marvel Universe, but nobody really does much with him. I remember uh, Ditko did one Daredevil with him, uh, but I'm curious to see how this goes. And of course, Jack Monroe is nomad getting his butt kicked. So, next is Captain America to live and die under L.A. Yep. So, if you guys haven't seen the Wednesday movie, but you might not recognize this, but this guy, he looks like the hive in that was... Wednesday's boyfriend. Oh, really? Yeah, he looks like the Hive. I don't know how the Captain America finds himself in the sewers of Los Angeles, but uh, he does. Okay, next is another Captain America book. It just says Captain America, and it is number 324. Yep, a couple of issues earlier. Cap in the middle of a battle. Again, these were all half off, so I'm thrilled with this. Okay, next is Fantastic Four, number 248. Yeah, they didn't have a ton of older uh, Fantastic Four books, or ones I didn't have, I should say, uh, a lot of the burn ones that I had, but this one, I know I don't have it, it's the humans. Uh, another great cover, I think this is, uh, yeah, it's part of the burn run, so add into that collection too. So next is Captain America in the Falcon, number 179. Yep. Now, who do you, what do you think of this guy? The Golden Archer. He looks like... Who's that guy that has the claws? Wolverine? Yeah, Wolverine. He kind of looks like that. A little bit. It says, you ain't so hot without your shield and costume, are you, Rogers? You're just a sitting duck for the Golden Archer. Next is Marvel Comics Group. The Invisible... The Invincible. The Invincible... Iron Man, number 93. Thoughts on this? So-so? Mm -hmm. That's more detail. You want more detail on it? I mean, he's... That, like... Punching this dude right in the face. Yay, I'm going off. <laughs> and then he's, like, exploding. That's not a lot of detail. He's taking on Kraken. Oh. What do you think of this? This is a interesting cover. It's just like Captain America, and this is number... 327. Yeah. Wait, are we going to play doing this? No. Okay. I thought this was a really we did cool, cool cover. Uh, I like this time with Cap. You know, he sort of was going back and forth. He didn't know, you know, who he was or what was going on. Well, I was thinking it was this one. Yeah, they both have sort of that one color background and the uh, action in the front. Yeah. So, we can play. Thank you. So, 
Next is Marvel Comics Groups, The Invincible Iron Man, number 91. So the other one was number 92. 93. Okay. Yep. We just need number 93 and then we're done. 92, yeah. This is the uh, the controller, whoever he is, uh, giving Iron Man a what's what in the face and this poor woman is stuck right in there. Next is Marvel Comics Group, Earth's Mightiest Hero. The Avengers, number um 207. I don't know why it says heroes. Oh, it says heroes, not yeah. hero one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this was uh two bucks initially, so it's only a dollar. Uh, a little banged up, but it seems a pretty cool story. Uh, this is uh, after Kellen said, it is the Shadow Lord coming. So, Shadow Lord, whoever you might be. Okay, next is Marvel Comics Group. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, number 134. This isn't the time when they were just like, hey, where's the most popular comic that we are selling? And they just started falling. You think that's what it was? Remember you said that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The beginning of a long-awaited origin of the vision. Uh, man, let's see where the vision came from. I thought we knew, but maybe we didn't know. Uh, another awesome cover. Uh, this is one that bun by blah, 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 blah. no idea, but it's good. And doesn't Thanos need to take the crystal out of his head? Okay. Yes. Okay. Good Back. call on that. Next is Marvel Comics Group, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, number 132. Now, I started reading some of the Frankenstein books from the 70s. I got them really cheap. Uh, I forget what it was. They were kind of banged up. And they were actually like really kind of good stories. And so seeing Avengers with Frankenstein, it really piqued my interest. And I'm curious to see where this goes. But uh, he's certainly holding his own against Thor right here. I know why, I got, why he got this for a dollar. Somebody signed on this. Watch. Marvel Comics Group. Co's. Dreaming, the co-starring, co-starring, the Defenders, mm -hmm. the Avengers, yep. and I know why he got this for a dollar. That well, it was a little more than that, but yeah, somebody wrote on it. But yeah. hey, you can't ask for more action than that, folks. You're getting your money's worth right in the cover. Dormammu no. and Loki summoning the Defenders and the Avengers. You know it's going to be a slug fest because the Hulk's going to tee somebody off, and uh, then it's on like Donkey Kong. Okay, so next is Marvel Comics Group, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, number 117. Yeah, I went on an Avengers kick today. But hey, you have Submariner trying to punch Please. Captain America. Hopefully this is the last Avengers book. I don't know, and you'll never guess the identity of our mystery supervillain. What do you think of this? This is a pretty cool fight. Yeah, I like it. Right? Next is Marvel Comics Group's Marvel Comics groups group blah, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Ad Avengers one hundred three. Uh, I grabbed this because I don't remember Sentinels too much in the Avengers. Uh, so when I saw this, I, I just really wanted to know what was going on here. Uh, a little dinged up, but still a great book to have. Okay, next is the Legendary Justice. Right. Justice Society of America. Um, in All Stars Comics with the Super Squad, number sixty-five. What do you think of this? For detail. I think so too. I would actually agree. I think this is not the best cover I've ever seen. It actually looks kind of simple. It's like he's running off. Mm -hmm. She's running in to punch him, and yeah. then he's just like. Vandal Savage here taking it to uh, Earth 2 Superman. I think he's trying to punch him in the undercarriage. Oh, that's a painful Look, move. Because... Well, I think he fell down. I don't know if he's going for the, yeah. uh, the death blow. <laughs> okay, so next is DC Comics stalls the... the... Uh, yeah, just, it's just Justice Society of America. Yeah, the Justice Society of America. Um, numbers... 61, but for some reason it says 17. Yeah, this is from 1976. Uh, the Super Squad is back. 
I'm I'm not a huge guy for these books, but I kind of like that they had Doctor Midnight um, with this group, and yeah, they were cheap enough. I'll I'll see where the story goes, but I thought this was a pretty nifty cover, kind of old school feel to it. Next is Superman's action comic. Mm -hmm. Um, number thirty-five. It's four seventy-six. Oh, four seventy-six. And this went for thirty-five cents. Yes. Now, I keep getting different books that have bar talks on it, uh, because it is a blatant knockoff mm -hmm. of the uh, Sean Connery movie. Ah, oh, that is escaping right now. Zardaz, I think, where he's in this little high let. Uh, was it Speedo with the leather boots and he's the only man on earth. Uh, it's not a bad character they created for this, but every time I see him in one of these books, I have to pick it up just because uh, out of homage to Mr. Sean Connery. Okay, so next is Captain America um, number 288. Revolution 1993. And as someone who's lived through 1993, I don't remember any revolutions like this happening. But, uh, you know, I was in senior, uh, the freshman high school, so I missed a lot of these things. Cool cover. Yeah, because you had to go to Pauling. Um, Trinity Pauling. Yeah, Trinity Pauling. There's that. Which is now a school for kids that are like smart and good. Yeah. Okay. So next is two, which are this Ghost Rider. Mm -hmm. So next is Ghost Rider until you meet the orb, you don't evil. That, that's the you same guy as that other issue. Yeah. So this is number 54. The orb beating up the old Ghost Rider, GR taking it on the chin. Was that expensive back in the days, 50 cents? Well, 50 cents was, you know, you can get a lot for 50 cents. Two quarters. Yeah, Bob Budiansky and Joe Rubenstein doing the cover. Bob Budiansky, friend of the show. Okay, so next is Ghost Rider slide by slide. With side by side. Side by side. With the Son of Satan, mm -hmm. number 17, and it was sold for 25 cents. It doesn't get more supernatural than this, folks. The Son of Satan and Ghost Rider duking it out against demons. It is everything you want in a Ghost Rider book, and it's everything I have now in a Ghost Rider book. Thank okay. you, all the You're going to love the next one. Yes. No, this. Yeah. This. Okay. So next is a Blackhawk number two. Come here. 227. Uh, this is a cover by, I mean, I do like Blackhawk a lot, but boy, when I saw this cover, uh, and it was certainly cheap enough, I had to have it. This is, I think it was before they tried to make Blackhawk cool in 76 with the open collar. Uh, this is sort of like the original group. Okay. So next is GI Combat mm -hmm. number 189. Another 50 cent book. 50 cents for this. I don't know why the army is going after a gigantic ape and some Nazis are laughing, but... Ooh, they look like Fish Trek, something like that. Like, Star Trek? Yeah, Star Trek. They look like... Well, yeah. Okay. 50 cents. Next, he's going to love these. They're all G.I. Joe. Yes. So this is G.I. Joe Special Missions number 25. Mm -hmm. Wait, how much is this sold for? Back in the day, that was a dollar. That was a lot of money for uh, a book. Here's special missions number, and it looks like Sauron attacking. Now, this might be when G.I. Joe is going off a little bit. I don't know why there would be a, high, a gigantic dinosaur wow. attacking them, but uh, hey, let's Next find out. It's G.I. Joe special missions number 27. I love you, my GI Joe, and uh, I didn't I didn't pick up special missions that much growing up, but uh, grab them now. But that's a stunning cover. Next is GI Joe special missions number twenty eight, and this is uh, Andy Cuber cover. Wow, look at that! Some air battles going on. Uh, they didn't have a ton of uh, vintage Joes. They had a few GI Joe. Um, the ones we just labeled off all the different characters, uh, but I really wasn't too interested in that. Next is Ghost Rider number eight. Yes, this is the new Ghost Rider. This is, well, my new Ghost Rider. The Howard Mackey run on Ghost Rider, which if you haven't read it, read Howard Mackey's run on Ghost Rider. It is incredible. Um, it's dark. It is well written. This is the one I didn't have for an extended run. Um, get these comics. They're certainly cheap enough. 
Next is the world's greatest superheroes, Justice League mm -hmm. of America. And it has Superman, Batman, Flash, Black Canary. Black Canary, Green Lantern, and Green Era. Yeah, this is a classic, classic cover. Uh and I was seeing these at half off. I, I had to jump on this. I, I love when they had the rosters down the side, and this is the earlier run of the rosters down the side, I think the early 70s. Uh, beautiful cover, and uh, it's the JLA, so you're going to get all the hoop superheroes all in one place. Next is the Justice League of America, number 25, and there's 57, sorry. Oh, right. And it was sold for, 20, for 12 cents back in the days. Another beautiful cover, uh, vintage JLA. This one's, I guess, promoting the UN, which is, it is what it is. But, uh, man, thy name is Brother. That's a cool cover, man. I mean, this is this is the classic stuff that led to where it all is now, so. Next is Justice League number 59, and it was sold for 12 cents back in yep. the days. 12 cents. Another cover by, this is, I don't know if this is Nick Cardi. Art. If you know it, let me know. Oh, um, boy, oh, boy. I mean, look at that, the shadow of his hands over them. That's just so beautifully done. That is great creativity. Uh, boy, oh, boy, this stuff is, this is just gold right here. Next is Justice League number 53, and it was sold for 12 cents back in the days. Again, early Justice League. Uh, this is... I, there's nothing more I can say. Batman's utility belt's falling off. Uh, this is like speedy here. Next to Superman. Fall down. Now, what do you think of this classic art? What do you think of the old school art here? Uh, you give it so so. See, I absolutely love it. To me, this is what Catwoman kind of like cover should look like. Next is Justice League of America number one hundred ninety nine, and it was sold. For 60 cents 60 back cents in the days. Brought the price up on you. Um, yeah, I'll we'll see what's going on with this. I mean, it's not the great coolest thing, but uh, it's got Sartana and Green, uh, Green Lantern. Yeah. Six all new stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Secret Origin number. Is that it? This is the final issue, number 50. Number 50. Yep. And then. That was the almost two dollars. Yeah, it was sold for three ninety five, and then in Canada, it was sold for a little more. If you've been uh, seeing my videos, you know I've been trying to get this run. I really got been on a Secret Origins kick. Uh, I found a bunch today that I did not have. Uh, these books are always cheap enough to get, and they're sort of one offs. You don't need to be following what happened in the past, but it kind of brings to light some of the characters you haven't seen before. Uh, so I'm I really like the series. He's out there, and uh, I'm glad I picked this one up. Next is Secret Origin. Featuring the Featuring. new Boy Legion. Yeah, and it was from the pages of Superman. Yep. Jack Kirby's Newsboy Legion. I, what was it Jack Kirby doing? No, it wasn't. I just made that up. He did something else. But the Newsboy Legion, uh, yeah. And Bouncing Boys in it. So there you go. Next is Secret Origins. Number wait is that it or is that forty six? Okay, yeah, because it has eighty nine on yeah on it too. So in the U.S. it was sold for one dollar and seventy five cents. So I believe this one is just about the blueprints of the secret uh, labs of the Justice League and the New Teen Titans and the Legion. So it's nerdy stuff, but of course we're all nerds because that's why we're watching this. Next is the Secret Origin featuring. Phantom Girl. Phantom Girl. And Grim Ghost. And Grim Ghost number 42. Mm -hmm. Wait, or is it? 42. Okay. And then in the U.S. it was sold for $1.50. Yep. But, um, some Legion goodness. Uh, usually they say who wrote the stories, but not on this one so much, so I guess I'll have to find out. I'm guessing Roy Thomas. The Secret... The, in Breaking 2, mm -hmm. there's, it used to be called the origin story. Yeah. And you got the ending. And I was like, how it all started. Oh. So next is 
Secret Origin starting Sp and starring um Black Lightning and Miss Black America. Lightning. Black Black Lightning in Miss America number twenty six and it was sold for one dollar and twenty five cents. Mm -hmm. In the UK, it was 63p, huh? So this one, you have Black Lightning, uh, Tony Isabella, the creator, telling his story on it. And I believe, of course, Roy Thomas, uh, he loves the, the retro characters, uh, putting this one together. So it's nice to add these to the run. Um, cool cover. This is a uh, Kevin Nolan cover. And the last book. Superman's Action Comic number... Four hundred seventy-three, and it was sold for thirty-five cents. Now, if I'm guessing correctly, these are folks out of the Phantom Zone. I believe that might be General Zod. Uh, so this is kind of like Superman Two. Uh, they're all attacking Superman. How's he going out of this predicament? I'm going to have to read it to find out. Those are the books I grabbed today from All oh Yeah Comics in Harrison, New York. Go see Mark there. Uh, the sale, I believe, I said is going on. I think he put it on Facebook till Monday. Fifty percent off back issues, folks. Um, there's great deals to be had, and uh, I'm so glad I got to see Joe today. He got to see his little buddy Mikey. We had a great time. Uh, so thank you, Mark. Thank you for all, oh, yeah, all these things. Franco, great to see you too. Buster, thank you so much for your help on Welcome. all this. And make sure to like, subscribe, put bell notifications on, and comment down below which comic was your favorite. Well done. And everyone have a wonderful, safe, happy Easter. And we will see you next week with some exciting new episodes. Bye. Bye.